What does it look like to love? In a culture in which all that has been redefined drastically, it is no wonder that probably the one verse in the Bible that nearly everybody loves to death is God is love. But before we get to that, what does it mean when God says that? Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 5. Hear, O Israel, hear, O Israel. It is the great Shema. If you had to talk to a Jew, they would hear talk about the great Shema. Shema means hear, oh hear. It's an exclamation. Hear, O Israel. Hear, church, this morning. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. So John's saying this isn't anything you've heard, but anything new. You've heard this. You know this. And we as believers this morning know that's true. But we also learn in verse 8 that it is a new commandment in the light that Jesus is the Lord. It's new in Jesus and in his followers as they walk in Jesus' victorious light. It's true in Jesus. Not only is he your Savior, but you recognize that he is the Lord, your God. The rays of light in this dark world are shining. Do you have the spiritual eyes to see that? Listen to Paul's words in Ephesians 1, 15 through 18. He prayed that God may give us the spirit of wisdom and the knowledge of his words, that our eyes of our hearts would be enlightened so that we may know what is the hope to which he has called us. I'll read that again. God may give us the spirit of wisdom and the knowledge of his word and with the eyes of our hearts may be enlightened so that we may know what is the hope to which he has called us. What is the hope to which he has called you? Do you see that in your day-to-day -day world? Do you have the spiritual eyes to be able to acknowledge, wow, God, you are working here. Even in the darkest night, it doesn't take much of a flashlight to see the light, does it not? If you refuse to forgive and illustrate true love as a Jesus follower, you have a characteristic that illustrates maybe you're not even a family member of God. You haven't surrendered yourself to God. God isn't the king of your life. If you harbor hate toward a spiritual family member, you actually walk in darkness. This is an incredible statement in the light that if you say that you love God and you yet you hate other family members of the faith, you're literally pulling the blinds down on your relationship with God. Because God loves those people. He has died for those people. By the way, His image is in every person who breathes. You mean everything is passing away. Literally, as we look at the world, we see that too. But you understand that seeing the world in God's perspective is I am eternal says God these things are temporary do we have the eternal perspective to say what I am working for who I am living for actually has eternal characteristics and wants to live with me forever how many of you have children love the clothes the children wear instead of the children wait a minute the children are going to be around a lot longer but their clothes are incredibly temporary Can you have a relationship with the Father if you deny the Son, according to 1 John? It's pretty simple right here. You cannot deny Jesus as the Messiah, Jesus as the, Christ, as the Christ, and have a relationship with the Father. How does that make you live now? Go home, get bad news. Go home, see the news. Go home and see another atrocity. Is your life wrecked? How do you react to bad news? Because seeing life through as God sees it says imitating Jesus shows his love now and it also has an eternal perspective. Don't be deceived. They're coming because the enemy spreads juicy, deliberate mistruths all the time. Beware. They're coming. But God, again, he has bathed you in Jesus through the Holy Spirit when you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Lock on with deadly precision to that tr truth for the rest of your life. The Holy Spirit is here in us to help us, to comfort us, and to teach us his word. Put that into action. 
And by the way, Jesus is coming back. Be ready. Remain glued to Him. And when He is literally revealed for you to see, have confidence in that day. Be able to yell, there's my Savior. 